Connie. Connie. All right. Yes. Connie. As long as you don't call me late for dinner, then you, we ain't got no problems. All right. <laughs> Connie in the building. All right. So what's going on with your little lady? How you doing, Jay, driver? Uh, I'm doing a lot better since uh, I have two people in specific who have come, kind of who known me for quite a few years. Uh-huh. And they saw the how what the scars were, and they were trying to get me away from this company that I kept hanging around, thinking you know things were going to change and whatnot. And they they saw something I couldn't see. All right, so let's. Uh, and I was a lot of trauma. All right, so you know you was on you you was on my podcast before, so welcome back. Yep, I, what, I was. Yep, I was on your podcast before. What? Uh, int- introduce yourself. Uh, let everybody you know. Let everybody know a little bit about you. All right. Hi, my name is Constance Sloan. I'm 46 years old. I'm a truck driver. Been for for quite some time. I uh, used to work for Revere Transportation, but no longer due to illegal uh, illegal uh, circumstances that prompted me to leave. So I'm with the company now, which in due time I will with uh, Revere reveal who they are. But you know. I'm I'm a good going kind of happy go lucky individual, so I uh, just let let Sean take the uh, take the stage. Okay. What questions do you have for me, young uh, man? Okay, that's what's up, man. So you know, to give a little bit of uh, a little bit of the background, you 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 are former J and R Schwugel driver as well, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So you you been with J and R Schwugel for a minute, bounced out from there, and then you went over to the previous company. Perfect. No, Revere Transportation was, was the next company, the, and that was the only that that was the only company you was with until you got with your present company now. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. So Connie. Okay. So Connie, uh, you reached out to me, said some things was going on. Talk to me. What? 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 what All what's right. Up? What well, happened? the big, the biggest incident was that uh, because of the way how dispatch was treating people, mm-hmm. they were losing drivers left and right. And as far as I was concerned, when I quit, there was only maybe three other drivers that were left. That means the company is dwindling down. Now, um, I tried telling, addressing my concerns, like dispatch wanted me to. Uh, okay, my alternator. I'm going to tell you a quick synopsis. I'm going to see how your 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 listeners will react to this. Mm-hmm. I my alternator in the trailer broke down. I had two and a half million dollars of medical freight in the back. Right. So instinctively, I got to protect it. I went to a truck stop. That so they let me stay in the bay so I can keep the freight warm because it was actually COVID vaccines I had back there. Mm-hmm. So by morning the trailer died. So I had to run inside. The guy hooked it up with a jump box that hooked into the wall that hooked into the trailer, so that way I could keep the freight at a certain temperature. Mm-hmm. Well, dispatch, I drove from Gary, Indiana to Syracuse, New York, and then use PC to get to a safe haven 12 miles away to go to bed. Mm -hmm. Now, dispatch wanted me to use PC to go drive 180 miles. I found uh, a a, a service plaza to stay at. Mm -hmm. I had to use PC to get to a safe haven. But your your dispatcher wanted you to use PC for 108 miles more, though. To uh, pick up another load when I flat out, I was flat out refused, mm. and she was screaming at me at the top of her lungs. Okay, so let me get this. At, let me get this straight. The 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 company, the dispatcher, wanted mm-hmm. you w- wanted you to forward to the next load on PC, something that we're not supposed to do. Yep, and I reported it to the owner of the company. Now, mind you, I just recently found out through somebody that was very close to the owner. The owner was or was arrested some time ago for actual um, uh, perjury. Uh, he can't own a trucking company under his name because of perjury, falsification oh. of records, embezzlement, actually. Okay. You want to get technical. 
And when I approach the owner about it, he goes, well, you know, if she tells you to do it, you gotta, you really got to do it. I mean, you're not being a team player if you don't want to do that. Okay, let me stop and, you right there. No, you, you, you don't got to do it. Nah, you know, oh. they, 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 if you, if you, if, if you do it and you get caught, all that shit is on you. Yep. Not, not on them. They gonna sit. They they gonna sit back, and they gonna they they gonna protect themselves, not you. They gonna mm -hmm. be like. They gonna be like, oh well, you know, it was up to her discretion, you know. And which you need to know it's bullshit. We can fill up there if you want. Right. So they not gonna they they not gonna protect you. They not gonna look out for you. But they want they they want you. They they want to push you though. So you you turn mm -hmm. you turn around. You tell the owner of the company, come to find mm -hmm. out that the owner of the company is not supposed to be owning a trucking company. So how is that? How how did that work? What is it's up under his wife's name? Is yes. His, okay. That's the only loophole he found to get around that. Mm. But so, I noticed that you know I'm like so really this is all about um, profit, and they was like, well you know we got to make money. Blah, blah, blah. And they said if I quit, they said it, it would get them into a lot of hot tra hot water about them losing the medical lane because I quit. I said, well, then you, then you need to ask yourself, why are drivers quitting left and right? Why? Because, why? Because you're asking them to do some illegal shit. And yep, exactly right. I said, but oh, also, you might want to look at this batch. Dispatch is, you know, making people quit left and right because you're telling them to do something that's illegal, and we're not. I'm not going to put up with it anymore. I got to go. So this is so a, right. So yeah. Yep. So so you you yourself ran mostly medical uh, supplies yes. for them. Yep. Vaccines and, and other medical yeah medicines. Yep. And being that you quit. They they didn't have nobody else to run that lane or run that you know run that type of shipment. No, they didn't have anybody. Wow. No. Nope. So now they're saying they are in deep trouble of losing that lane because of me quitting. I said, well, then maybe if you've learned how to treat your drivers with respect and not, not sit to try to force them to do something that's illegal, then you would have uh, better driver retention. But that's Look not at the reviews for Revere mm -hmm. Transportation, a.k.a. Cliffside Transportation. You will see for yourself what's going on. But that's not the only that's that's not the only issue that that you have with the company. There was other issues with the company that you have. What were they? They didn't want to pay me what uh, the time that I was stuck for eleven days with a trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, they sat there, did not want to pay me layover pay. Mm -hmm. So I really, right now, I don't have any money to like eat on or nothing. So I've been using my points in order to breathe, mm -hmm. to order to eat. So my two friends who've known me for quite a few years have actually sat there and said, you know what, we're tired of you actually going through that. So one of them right now, they sent him all the way from Idaho to North Carolina, North Carolina to Cleveland, Ohio to come get me. And he's right on the other side of me. Oh, that's what's up. Uh, Shout you, out you, to that you, guy. To, you, yeah, he, he's a blessing. Him and his wife that I've known for quite a while that they like to keep me on my toes, keep me laughing. That's, That's what up. family do. So you got, so you just you you just took the, the truck and trailer back to the yard and yes, and just yes. call it a day. Yep, I packed my stuff up in the car which the owner which I will reveal the the name of the trucking company at a later time and date, mm -hmm. but the owner of this specific trucking company has actually sent an Uber to me to come get my stuff out of there to come, you know, because you know what, my family, which is the two people that I know for quite a while, they actually vouched my work ethic, work, work ethic and my record. Like, look, man, she runs just like me. She doesn't stop until the wheels fall off or until her hours is literally on smoke. And, you know, they, if anybody really has supportive friends, man, hold on to them. They have more pressures than fake-ass bosses running around out here. Seriously. 
All right. So the new company, hopefully uh, everything will work out for you on the new company. But the previous company Hell that yeah. you want everybody to know, what's the, what's the name of the company? Revere Transportation, also known as Transportation, be aware, stay the fuck away. I was there for almost four years. Do not do it. You will not. You will regret it. I instantly going to tell you, you will regret it. Where where are they located at? Uh, the main hub is located in Billings, Montana, mm -hmm. but the office is located in Cleveland. Okay, okay, okay. So, Connie, man, you're 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 back home up in Colorado. No, my home is in Washington D.C. Oh, okay. Because my my real truck, which is a Western Star, mm -hmm. is located is located in Idaho. Oh, okay, but located okay, Idaho is a Western Star. It's a thirteen speed, and I got both of my dogs. I got my. I mean. These people will really help me out because they don't want me to starve or I, get hungry or anything like that. So they're, I, they're helping me out with everything. But I thought you said you was in Colorado. I am in Colorado. I oh, have to go through Colorado. Oh, okay, okay. So you are in Colorado. How's, how's uh, being that you had to go through Colorado, how, how was it getting in and what's what's the atmosphere uh, amongst well, the truckers? Atmosphere is, amongst, well, right now, the, no, no, I'm no, going to no. put it to you like this. Oh, the weather? No, no, not the weather. What's what's the atmosphere amongst truckers in Colorado right now? Be, uh, coming off that of that, still, coming off of that driver getting 110 years. Yeah, see, I wasn't aware of that until last night. So, I mean, atmosphere right now, people seem to be, you know, doing their normal thing, walking across parking lots, just minding all business, getting their stuff, coming back to their trucks, whatnot. Mm. But I have not detected any hostility between any drivers. So I just. I'm at that uh, Flying J in Aurora. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, Lyman, I'm sorry, that old spot. But when I was going down on the interstate, mm -hmm. it, I kid you not, dude, it brought back a lot of memories going, thank God I haven't been this way in like a quick minute. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So positive vibes, dude. I had to move. I had to roll out. That's what's up, man. Well, more power to you, Connie, man. I, I'm glad right. that you was. I'm, I'm glad that you was able to land back on your feet. So always have the good people in your corner to, you know, to help you out and everything. And hopefully, his name is his name is Daryl. Is the one that came and got me. He sit uh, okay. right next to me. Daryl, shout out to Daryl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout out. Um, hopefully everything work out for you. Oh, hell yeah, right? Make sure you send me a copy of this broadcast, would you? I sure will. I definitely I will. Bet. You take it easy. You stay safe and uh, make sure you get through Colorado safe and everything. And uh, right. and let me know. Again, you said uh, you, you said to watch out for what company now? Stop. Uh, it's the company I w will re uh, reveal its uh, identity no, at a later no, time. No, no, not not the company you're going to. The company you just left. Watch, watch out for the Revere Transportation, aka Cliffside Transportation. Do not, uh, 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 do not make that mistake. Stay the fuck away from them. All right, all Clearly. right, all right. All we'll right, guys. Much we'll talk, love. We'll talk later. Later. All right, all right. Send me that copy. I Bye, will. Bye.